answer the following question on the basis of the following number series. So number series is given to us 3, 2, 5, 1, 3. Actually not a number series. I mean number series generally means that there is some logic here. I don't think there's any logic in this series. Some number random numbers have been chosen and put in a, a series form there. So 3, 2, 5, 1, 3, 6, 4, 2, 1, 5, 3, 4, 2, 1, 9, 8 and so on. Then it says which number is third to the right of fourth to the right of the number which is 18 from the left in the series. It should actually be 18th from the left in the series. Anyway, so which number is third to the right of, four to the right of the number which is 18 from the left in the series? We have we have solved such questions in the topic of element series. I hope you have gone through the element series video. If not, please go through that. I don't see anything complex here. Let us see. So first of all, let us find out which is 18 from the left in the series. Which number is 18 from the left in the series? 4, 8, 12, 16, 18th. 6. The number 6 is 18 from the left in the series, right? So now I can, you know, actually cancel this and say 6. So the question changes now. What is the question? Which number is 3rd to the right of, 4th to the right of the number 6? Of course, the number 6 is in multiple places. Here also we have 6, right? But we are talking about this 6, 18th position basically. So which number is 3rd to the right of, 4th to the right of the number 6? Now what is, now, now look at this part, 4th to the right of number 6. What is 4th to the right of number 6? This is number 6, right? 4th to the right, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th. 4th to the right of number 6 is 3 number 3. So now you can cancel all this and say it is 3. Now read the question which number is 3rd to the right of 3. Of course 3 also is in multiple places but which number is 3rd to the right of this 3. 3rd to the right of this 3, 1st, 2nd, 3rd. 9 is the answer. What is complex about it? Suraj. Suraj you have to throw some Suraj on this. You have to throw some light on this and tell us where are you getting struck. In my view the answer is 9 and it was a sitter. Right? Following questions are based on six four-digit numbers given below. So what are the six four-digit numbers? 1252, 1042, 1098, 2610, 3357, 3311. Now if fourth and third digit of each of the number will interchange each other, then how many numbers, how many number will become perfect square? I think the language is not very correct here, but then yeah, third and fourth digit of each numbers are interchange then how many numbers will become perfect square, right? Then how many numbers will become perfect square? So third and four digits have to be interchanged, right? Five and two have to be interchanged. Four and two have to be interchanged. Nine and eight have to be interchanged. These have to be interchanged and so on. So how many of them will become a perfect square? So let's, let's find out the new numbers first of all. 1252 will become 1225. I immediately get that, yes, 1225 is a perfect square. This is 35 square. 1024, 1024, yeah, it is 32 in my view, right? So 25 minus 18 plus 324, yes, this is 32 square. 1098, it is 1089, right? Should be 33. So minus 17, so 800 plus, sorry, yeah, 800 plus 289. Yes, this is 33 square. 2610 uh, will become 2601, which is very clearly 51 square. 3357 will become 3375. This I know is not a perfect square immediately. And 3311 will remain 3311. This also doesn't look like a perfect square. So I think my immediate reaction is 4. Let us verify. Now I'll tell you what I was doing when I was checking it. See, you know that squares can end with 25, right? When a number ends in 5, the square ends in 25. So this is possible. Right, it is a possible that it is a perfect square. But what should be the remaining part? Remaining part is that digit multiplied by the next number. If you remember, so this is like 3 into 4, 12, right? So can you say 3 and 5 will make it 35 square, 1225? See, number ends in 5, square ends in 25. 3 into 4, 12. So this becomes 1225, 35. So definitely a perfect square. 1024. Now what I would do is uh, try to do an approximate calculation, right? Like for example, first of all, uh, <coughs> You know, 1024 is more than 900, so definitely more than 30. Now, when does a square end in 4? Either the number ends in 2 or ends in 8. These are the possibilities. Yes or no? You know that 30 square is 900. If you see 1024 is close to 900, it is only 124 away from 900. So, it will, it will probably be 32 square. It cannot be 38. Because if 38 is close to 40 and 40 square is 1600. You are able to follow my point. When a number ends in 4, its square ends in either 2 or 8. The closest 10 square that I know here is 30 square. 30 square is 900. So it should either be 32 square or it's not a perfect square. That's the idea. What I will do is quickly find out 32 square. What is 32 square? 50 minus 18. 
so 700 700 plus uh, 18 is 324 so 700 plus 324 1024 yes so this is a perfect square similarly when i look at 1089 the number is ending in 9 i know that a square would end in 9 only if the given number ends in uh, you know 3 or 7 now this also is close to 900 so it should either be 33 or 37 but then i know that 37 is close to 40 answer should be closer to 1600 but this is closer to 900 so i would say 37 is eliminated now the question is is 33 square 1089 or something else if it is 1089 it's a perfect square otherwise it's not a perfect square now 33 square when you do quickly mentally 50 minus 17 is uh, 800 800 plus 289 1089 yes a perfect square all these calculations can be done mentally let me tell you all the calculations can be done mentally here then 2601 2601 is easy it's like 51 square right i mean it's like 2500 plus these are like techniques which you will learn as you keep practicing more and more on numbers 50 square plus 50 plus 51 is how much 2601 that means it is a perfect square so i have applied that logic here again you can verify the same logic using this logic also it is closer to 2500 answer is ending in one so it should either be 51 square or 59 square but 59 is far away from 2500 so 59 is eliminated it is either 51 or not a perfect square 33 75 remember a perfect square will never end with 75 a perfect square will always end with 25 eliminated 33 double one try this out now number is ending in one square either ends in one or nine this is closer to what 2500 which means 51 or 59 i mean it is between 2500 and 3600 are you able to follow this number is between 25 and 36 so it is either 51 square or 59 square clearly this is closer to 59 square i mean this is closer to 3600 so 51 is ruled out it should be 59 square or not a perfect square and 59 square will not be so far away from double three double one i mean will not be so far away from 3600 basically try out 59 square 2500 plus 900 3400 plus 81 3481 but what is given here is 33 but 1 so this is not a perfect square so i think 1 2 3 4 4 numbers answer is 4 if the first 15 elements in the above sequence are written in reverse order right if the first 15 elements obviously from the left hand right the first 15 elements from the left hand are written in reverse order then which of the following will be 21st from the right hand which of the following will be 21st from the right hand so we have to take the first 15 elements from the left hand, reverse them, write them in the reverse order and then find out the 21st element from the right hand. First of all, count the number of elements. I think 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24 and 28. There are 28 elements. So find out which is the 15th element. 4, 8, 12, 13, 14, 15. Right? Here's the 15th element. K. And then we have the other elements there. So he says the first 15 elements in the above sequence are to be written in reverse order. So basically, T J L two dollar D equal to and so on up to uh, you know B less than K will become K less than B percentage and so on, right? So conventionally, how do you solve this problem? You write K less than B, then percentage C eight hash M equal to D dollar two L right and j t getting it count once 1 2 3 4 uh, 8 12 and 15 right and then after, after t we have 1 ampersand a w and so on now so the reversal is done forget about this original series here first 15 elements now look at the question which of the following will be 21st from the right end which element is 21st from the right end so find out 21st from the right end 1 2 3 4 then this is 8 then we have got uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. M will be the answer. Right? M is the correct answer. M will be the right answer. Is that clear to all of you? Very simple. But then the way we have solved it is actually complex. We have got the right answer. But this method is time consuming, right? I mean, you'll have to first find out the total number of elements, then find out which is the 15th element, reverse the first 15 elements, then count the 21st element from the right end, and you know, find out the 21st element basically instead of this is there a better way of doing it let's let's see what happens what can be done see first step i mean a smart method here is that first find the total number of elements so what's the total number of elements 4 8 uh, 12 16 20 24 and 20 28 elements now we have to find out we know that first 15 elements in the above sequence are written in reverse order so we have found that up to k 
the first 15 elements are there and then there are 13 elements now what a smart person will do he is asked to find out 21st on the right end instead of actually reversing the series actually reversing the first 15 elements do one thing you know that from the right end up to one there will be 13 elements these are 13 elements right these are total 13 elements okay so from the right end if you start counting you will get 13th element at this position now what do we want we want 21st from the right end understand 21st from the right end in the original series if you go from right end 21st will be like this 13 14 15 16 so on but you know that in the new series this is getting reversed so what you do is you will count up to 13 here this is like 10 11 12 13 which will be the 14th one the 14th one will be t see after one you directly jump to t and start counting from left to right so this is like 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 m is your answer without reversing the series without even reversing the series just count 13 from the right end because these are as it is and from this point onwards the series gets reversed right from t to k the series gets reversed so you know that what follows one from the right end will be t and not k so up to one is 13 then 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 m will be the answer m is going to be your answer so as you can see this is a question from element series right element series question uh, where we have been where, where we have been given a series of elements right which includes letters numbers and symbols and uh, the question part here is complete the series so he has given us a series here like k 9 x and then whatever the symbol is called right i don't remember what it is called right so let's let, let's call it as symbol symbol 6 m s a k and we are required to find out what comes next in the series so he has given us triplets three triplets have been given we have to find out what comes next in the sequence and all these triplets have been picked up from the element series given above so we have to identify the logic behind these sets here logic behind these triplets and accordingly find out what comes in the place of question mark very easy to do just follow the uh, element series like look at the first set k 9 x k 9 and then it jumps two elements to x so what's the pattern k 9 dash dash x you understand k 9 dash dash x look at the next set does it follow the same sequence I mean, same uh, logic so symbol i think this is called eta if i'm not wrong or whatever right uh, so whatever that symbol is symbol 6 m now if i look at it symbol 6 dash dash m right the same pattern like what we had seen here right why did he start with k that's a different story why did he choose that symbol next is a different story but in each triplet what is the pattern the first two elements are consecutive like k and 9 were consecutive then you leave the next two elements and take the third one so k9 dash dash x here you see symbol 6 consecutive dash dash m similarly in s a k check if the same pattern follows yes s and a are consecutive dash dash we get k so clearly it should be i mean each each set should have two consecutive elements then you jump two more elements and take the next one as the third element so that's how the question mark has to be filled but now the question that arises is how did we choose k then the symbol and then s try to identify the pattern again in a similar fashion so I'll, I'll just change the color to explain this to you you see k is here you move two positions back to get the symbol and then you move two positions back to get this s you understand k go in the reverse direction k dash the symbol so starting elements i'm looking at the starting elements then dash and then s so obviously the next one should be dash and then four yes or no so question mark will be equal to four it starts with four and once you choose four what should be the uh, sequence four and then definitely this percentage two consecutive elements then dash dash whatever comes next so this this and this you understand it, it takes time to explain but if you know how to if you have understood the logic there it, it is very easy to crack so your final answer will be what your final answer is four percentage and that 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 symbol that we had there yeah four percentage in this symbol which i think is not there in any of the options hence five is the answer delta i think yeah delta is the function these questions are based on five words given below what are the five words p r v c h t s e l n k b m i g now the first one here if all the letters are changed to its previous letter in all the words then how many words will not have any vowels i think a sitter right just follow what is given in the question and mark the answer if all the letters all the letters are changed to its previous letter in all the words in all the words so there are words given here which are formed of letters we have to replace these letters with the previous letter all the letters have to be changed to the previous letter 
all the letters have to be changed to the previous letter then how many words will have will not have any vowels is the question the word should not have any vowel so so let's do that exercise first right replace every letter with the previous letter right so prv prv will become what o uh, q and t right you can just check it o p q r t u v sorry t it's not t it's u i'm sorry one second let me clear this you have to be careful right u what comes before uh, v is u right then next c h t will become b uh, g and s right b c g h s t then s c l uh, r d k r s d e k l n k b m j a right m n j k a b you understand what i'm doing i mean we are used to this a b c d e f g h a j k l m n o p q r s t u v w x y z right so it becomes easier when you uh, you know just go from first letter to second letter to check if it is in the right sequence or not m i g m i g will become what uh, l and uh, uh, h and f right l m h i f g right e f g yeah i think these are the words so how many words will not remember will not have any vowels so this word has got vowels b g s yes correct it does not have any vowel r d k does not have any vowel m j a has vowel a is the vowel here l f h l h f does not have any vowel so i think there will be three words which does not have any vowel so it's all about doing it properly i think there's nothing complex about it look at the next question if first and second letters are interchanged if first and second letters are interchanged in all the words and then all the words are arranged in reverse alphabetical order then which of the following word is second to the left of the second from the left uh, from from the right okay so let's try this do the same thing again what do we have to do first and second letters are interchanged in all the words first and second letters have to be interchanged in all the words so prv what the first letter is p second letter is r these two should be interchanged so prv will become rpv cht will become hct scl becomes esl nkb becomes knb and mig becomes img you getting it first and second letters are interchanged rpv hct esl knb img so this part is done right interchanging first and second letters is done then all the words are arranged in reverse alphabet now these are the words that we have got these are the five words that we have got now these words all these words are arranged in reverse alphabetical order arrange them in reverse alphabetical order uh reverse order right so i think it starts with rpv only uh next should be uh, e f g h i j k right so k n b k n b then i m g h c t and e s l you understand reverse alphabetical order would depend on the uh, letter number uh, number of the first letter right 18th letter 8th letter 5th letter 11th letter 9th letter so reverse order would be in 18 11 9 8 5 18 11 9 yeah this is the reverse order that we want this is what is the final order now what do we have to do this in this one then which of the following word is second to the left of second from the right what is second from the right second from the right first from the right second from the right second from the right is that city second to the left of this first and second to the left of this knb so your answer will be knb right knb will be the answer it could be knb or it could be Uh, nkb i mean options actually speaking it should be nkb only options will be given in the original sequence only see knb is not the word knb is the word which formed which which was formed after interchanging the first and second letters the original word should be taken as the answer so nkb will be the answer so i think a simple exercise just follow what the question says and you'll get an answer yeah so first interchange the first and second letters that's what we have done in step 1 then in step 2 we arrange them in reverse alphabetical order and in step 3 we have found second to the left of second from the right so second from the right is hct and second to the left of that is knb so knb or nkb is the final answer study the following arrangement carefully and answer the questions given below so there is a series of elements here which includes letters numbers and symbols right x 9 e percentage j hash i etc so there are different letters numbers symbols etc it says if all these symbols are dropped from the given arrangement and all the consonants are changed to its next letter then what will be the middle element between i and l right if all the symbols are dropped from the given arrangement and all the consonants are changed to its next letter so what do we have to do we have to drop the symbols symbols have to be dropped 
and all the consonants are to be changed to its next letter. The consonant should be changed with the next letter. You know what consonants are, right? Change the consonants to the next letters. For example, B is a consonant. B should be changed to C, right? Uh, F is a consonant. F should be changed to what comes after F? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, right? It should be changed to G, right? I'm sure all of us do that uh, mentally, right? And then what will be the middle element between I and L? So what comes between I and L is the question. So there is no change in consonants. All we have to do is drop the symbols. Forget about the symbols. Don't count symbols. Forget about symbols. Now, instead of doing it for the whole series, like for example, changing every consonant to the next letter, dropping every symbol, I think we should focus where I and L are. That should suffice. So first of all, I is fixed here. Now, if I look at the series, I don't see L anywhere. Do we have L here? We don't have L. But then you know that consonants are being changed to the next letter. So it is possible that one of the consonants can become L. And what should that consonant be? It should be uh, K because K will become L, right? See, L is the 12th letter. So for L to exist, there should be 11th letter in the series, which can get changed to the 12th letter. 11th letter is K, K, you know, J, K, L. So K will become L. If I change every consonant to the next consonant, K would become L. So I is clearly available here straight. I is here without any change and L is in the last position. Now we have to find out which is the middle element, which is the middle element between I and L. So don't waste your time in for, for the entire series here. First of all, drop the symbols. Forget about all the symbols. At the rate, star, ampersand, dollar, all these are dropped. Now what are the other uh, elements? F, 7, 2, T, A, R, 3, O, 4, M, 5, right? All these are valid, not a problem. So symbols have been dropped. This part has been done. Now let's change consonants to the next letter. Again, do we really have to change all the consonants to the next letter? No. Let us first find out what is the middle consonant or what is the middle element and then we will change if required. So count how many are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There are 11 elements between I and L. You see between I and L, we've got 11 elements here after dropping the symbols. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Now, what will be the middle element for 11 letters? 11 elements, the sixth one. Yes or no? 11 by 2 is 5.5. You have to take the middle one, right? So it will be the sixth one. So directly reach to the sixth element. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Sixth element is R. You see, five elements on this side and five elements this side. Now, R will not be R. Don't mark R as the answer. First of all, R is not there in the options, but you know that R will be changed to the next letter, R plus 1. What is R plus 1? S. You know, when you change this constant to the next letter, it becomes S. So, option 3 would be your answer. Okay? I think a straight question there. Nothing complex about it, but you can save your precious time by first identifying where I, L, L, R, I and L are, and then dropping the symbols, and then finding out the middle element and only change that to the next consonant. Don't do it for all the uh, letters here. Okay, so option three is the final answer. Now, while I'm sure all of you have got it right, option three S, yes, I could see that most of you, in fact, all of you had marked S as the answer. My question is, how many of you have done it in a smart way, like what we have done here, without changing all the letters? Quick. How many of you have actually followed the same process? That first find out where I and L are, then drop the uh, symbols, find out the middle letter then, and then change it to the next consonant. Or have you changed all the consonants? I'm sure some of you would have changed all the consonants, right? S is the answer, yes. All of you have got S, but how many of you have got it in a smart way? Like for example, I can see Tanya's response. Tanya says, it is IG7 to U. Now the fact that Tanya has changed F to G, T to U, and R to S, uh, you know, M to N, shows that she has wasted her time, right? Why? Why do we have to change all the letters? Tanya, so while your answer is correct, I think you could have done it much faster. So Nayan has done it in a smart way, Isha has done it in a smart way, and Venkat and Dhawal, uh, Sandeep, Ashish, all of this. Yeah. Good. Surya Prakash says, I have done it for all the letters. Stupid way. Yeah. So good that you have realized that you have not done the best thing and there are better ways of getting the answer. Yeah, Abhi Tripathi has also done the traditional method. So all those who have done in the traditional process, be careful. Priya, uh, Donada Siddhaikari. Hmm? Chalo, let's, let's go to the next one now. On the same element series, we have one more question. Try this. Now this time he says if all the elements are arranged in a particular order, 
such that uh, such that the elements preceded by a symbol are moved one step to the right. Uh, now, what will be the seventh element on the right? Try this. What the answer to this one? All the elements are arranged in a particular order such that all the elements preceded by a symbol are moved one step to the right. Now what will be the seventh element from the right? R ampersand star yeah three I think you have covered option one, option two, option three and option four. Only option five is left. Let's see. Arthi says answer is 3. Now I am not sure if Arthur is referring to option 3 or number 3 but there are different responses. Option 2, option 4, option 3, number 3, O. Yeah, Shaheen has got option 5 which is O. So confused, huh? Let's let's take this now. See what it says. For the same series, we have the next question now which reads that uh, if, if all the elements are arranged in a particular order such that all the elements preceded by a symbol are moved one step to the right. All the elements preceded by a symbol are moved one step to the right. Now what will be the seventh element from the right? Now what will be the seventh element from the right? So basically the question is about seventh element from the right. 7th element from the right. Now without any uh, condition there, 7th element from the right is what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7th element from the right is 3. Yeah. 7th element from the right would be 3. But then the question says that th there is a condition. What is the condition? All the elements are arranged such that the elements preceded by a symbol are moved one step to the right. Elements preceded by a symbol. What do you mean by preceded by a symbol? The elements which come before the symbol. Elements preceded by a symbol are moved one step to the right. Now, I mean, let's let's not do it from the left onwards, right? Don't don't try to worry about symbols like hash, at the rate, percentage, and all that. These are no way gonna come in picture. We should only be looking at, you know, the elements towards the right hand side because we want finally the seventh element from the right hand side. Now, if I observe elements preceded by symbol, like for example, dollar is a symbol. What is the element preceded by dollar? It is four. That four should be moved one step to the right. Move one step to the right, meaning what? It will come before dollar, right? That's what would happen. As far as I understand the question. Similarly, the other symbol that we have is ampersand here. Element preceded by ampersand is R. That R should be moved one step to the right. So R would come here. Like 4 comes here, R would come here. But what will happen eventually? Will the answer change? I think the answer would still remain 3 only, right? 7th element from the right would still remain 3 because nothing is being dropped. We are not dropping the symbols or uh, element or any type of element. We are just changing their positions. So seventh element from the right would still remain three in my view, right? I mean, I'm, I'm only copying the series for the last two symbols here, right? So what happens? Ampersand R comes here. R is moved to the right hand side, right? One step to the right hand side because it is preceded by the symbol. Then three O as it is. Four is preceded by dollar, right? So it should come after dollar. So dollar four and then M five K, right? And then we are not worried about the remaining part of the series. What do we have to find out? Seventh element from the right. Find out seventh element from the right. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. Seventh element from the right is three, which is option four. So option four is the right answer to this question. Yeah, did you all follow this? Option four, three should be the answer. I hope all of you are clear. I mean, there was a lot of confusion initially, so I am trying to check if you have followed this or not 
Usually questions from element series are simple. These are also easy ones. Nothing complex about these questions. But we haven't solved such questions in our videos earlier. I mean, easy to understand. Just move the elements towards the right and then do the count again. So three is the answer. If you have all followed this, I can just jump to the next one. Okay, Pavani has got a question here. Sir, preceded by symbol, for example, dollar means M and not 4. Yes, preceded is what comes before, right? Not after. Preceded. All the elements preceded by a symbol. M is followed by the symbol. Hold on. Okay, hold on. I think I'm sorry. Uh, you are right. Pavani is right. Elements preceded by the symbol are... Yeah, so symbol should be preceding. I'm so sorry about this. Let me take it up again. Apologies, 3 is the wrong answer, right? 3 is not the answer. I'm sorry because the question here says the elements preceded by the symbol and not... I mean, what we have considered is elements followed by symbol. Elements preceded by symbol means elements which have got symbol before it. So we are referring to M here. We are referring to M. Okay, so let, let me just quickly solve this again. I mean, the same concept, but uh, there's just a change in... Uh, the, the element to be considered there, right? So, for the same element series, the question actually says, if all the elements are arranged in a particular order, order such that all the elements preceded by a symbol are moved one step to the right, now what will be the seventh element from the right? See, without any conditions, like I've said, seventh element from the right would be 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Seventh element from the right will be 3. But here, he's referring to the element. I mean, we have to change the series here. We have to change the arrangement. How do we change it? Such that the elements preceded by symbol, elements preceded by a symbol. So, so the order will be this symbol followed by element. Right? So such elements are moved one step to the right. These elements are moved one step towards the right. So here it is moved one step to the right. So basically there will be uh, one more element here, let's say. It will be moved one step to the right. So it will go after that element. It, it, this is the process that we need to do. So elements preceded by symbol, right? So this is the element preceded by symbol. It should be moved one step to the right. Oh, moving one step to the right. So it should come after this element. Yeah. So find out such elements now. So so don't don't do it for all the symbols, right? Don't do it for percentage, hash, and all that because those are not going to come in picture, right? All we need is seventh element from the right hand side. So, so try to work from the right hand side onwards. So elements preceded by symbol. Which element is preceded by symbol? M. M is that element, right? Preceded by symbol. Let me highlight all the elements preceded by symbol here. So M is one element preceded by symbol, right? Then we have uh, three, which is preceded by symbol. And let's work only on these two elements. Other elements will not come into picture. Like R is also preceded by symbol, but I don't think we have to go up to R. So elements preceded by symbol are moved one step to right. So M will be moved after five. Three would be moved after O. R will be moved after M percent. Yeah. So how will the uh, series look like? It will be like this. Ampersand R, O comes on that side. O, 3, 4, dollar, 5, M, K. You getting it? So elements which are preceded by a symbol. Preceded by a symbol are moved one step to the right. So M is moved one step to the right. 3 is moved one step to the right. And R is also moved one step to the right. Yeah, now count and, and similar process to be continued till the end. But then what will be the seventh element from the right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Seventh element from the right. Now this time it comes out to be O, right? Option 5. Yeah, what will be seventh element from the right hand side? What will be the seventh element from the right hand side? Yeah, seventh element from the right hand side comes out to be O, option five. Clear now? Yeah, O should be the answer. It's it's not time taking. I think basically because we have we have never solved such a question uh, in the past. It it took a little bit of time, but now that we have done it once, in future you should be able to do it really quick. Yeah, so I think O should be the answer, option 5. 
Yeah, Samridhi has mentioned that O is the answer. O has to be the answer. Yeah. Followed now. Uh, okay, now Atish has raised a query here. Ashish says that uh, Atish says that if one step towards the right, if elements are going, being moved one step to the right, then two elements will come in the same place. I don't think we should be doing it that way. Yeah. Actually, Stagger should confirm what the correct answer is. One step towards the right. You're right. I mean, technically, one step to the right means you're just taking it to the next element's position. But we never have two elements in the in the same position there, right? Then the answer would change. Then I think we should go to uh, since two elements have two pairs have come in the same position, then you should jump uh, to ampersand. Then your answer would be not even ampersand. Then your answer will be star. Okay, I think let's not spend too much time. I, in my view, the answer should be five. Option five, uh, which is O. Uh, go through it once again. This video will get archived to your account by tomorrow uh, evening. Go through it, and uh, then uh, you will be able to follow it. Yeah. Let Let me take up the last one. Right. There's one more question from the same uh, element series, which is on your screens now. See what it says. Four of the five. Four of the following five are alike in a certain way based on their positions in the above arrangement, and so they form a group, which is the one that does not belong to that group. So same element series, it says four out of these five options are similar based on their positions. Do not worry about the previous one, I will have a relook at it and if there is anything that we need to change, I let you guys know, right? Try this one now. So, typical question that we have solved in the past, I mean, this is not new. We have to find out. Uh, Which of these five options is different based on the positions? Check that. Uh, Kalyan says, I had a problem with discussion forum. Your tech team called me and resolved the problem when I was in bus. And he asked me to upload a sample question to check whether the problem is resolved or not. And then what happened? Uh, Manjula says, there is no eight in the series. Yes, that's my observation too. That 8 is a different number, it's not there in the series. So, how do you guys solve this? Sagar, I think you got to be present in the session to clear these confusions, right? First option says XT8, but T is not a part of the series at all, right? So, how do we identify? XT8 option 1 is what most of you have marked but why do you think option 1 is the answer because there's a new element here right let's let's solve this so like you can see it says four of the following five are alike in a certain way based on their positions in the above arrangement and so they form a group which is the one that does not belong to that group so we have got triplets here in each option right XT8 star 5O I3T JA at the rate E at the rate hash now he says XT8 has got some sequence in the above series. Similarly, star 5O, I3T, based on their positions. They've got some sequence based on their positions. So which one is the odd one? Which is the one that does not belong to the group of these triplets here? Now the challenge, uh, like most of you must have observed is X and T are available, but where is eight? We don't have eight at all, right? We don't have eight in the element series. Yeah. So there's a question mark. This itself is a question mark. Look, look at star 5 O star and then we have 5 and then we have O. So what is the logic? Star 5 O. 
uh, yeah if i if i consider these three i mean observe try and observe what what is happening here i think o is exactly between star and five you see three elements between star and o and three elements between four and five so o is exactly between star and five o comes exactly in the middle of star and five yeah I mean that's one way of looking at it. Look at i three t i three t i here. There is three, three here, and t. So again between i and t we have got one, two, three, four elements. Between t and three we have got one, two, three, four. Exactly right here also you will find that t is exactly between i and three. You see four elements between i and t at the rate f seven two. Four elements between t and three a star seven at the rate the seven amp percent. So t is exactly between i and three. Then J A at the rate. See the same pattern is applicable for J A at the rate. J here, A here, and at the rate. No, two elements between J and A, and multiple elements, more than two between J uh, at the rate and A, right? You see, so it's not exactly in the middle. This is not in the middle. It does not follow. Look at E at the rate hash. E at the rate hash. E at the rate and hash. No, two elements here. Only one element here. E at the rate hash. No, here also hash is not exactly in the middle of E at the rate. So what's the confusion? I mean, what what could be the pattern? So maybe what we are trying to do is incorrect. I mean, incorrect as in we have not got the right logic yet. However, the question is still that where did this eight come from? Hmm. What do we do? I, I am not able to solve this. I don't think answer cannot be. I mean, I, I don't think answer can be determined to this one. Or, or at least I am not able to solve. Very honestly, I am not able to solve this. And what I would do in the exam is skip and go to the next one. I'll just skip this and move to the next one because there's no point in wasting time on this question, right? I have already spent 30 seconds. Let's say if I'm doing it myself, right? Doesn't make any sense to me. 